Glory to God forever, amen. Holy, 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 Lord of hosts, heaven and earth is full of thy holy glory, but so are the reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. John the Jew Evangelist. May his holy blessing be upon us all, amen. When the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, has come, he shall teach you all things and bring you to your remembrance all things that I have said unto you. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives you, I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice, because I said, if I go, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes to pass that when it comes to pass, you might believe. I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world comes and has nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, so I do arise, let us go from here. I'm the true vine, and my father is in the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through, through the words which I have spoken around to you, abide in me and I in you. Graciously come and dwell on us and purify us from all defilement, O good one, and save our souls. Just as you were with your disciples, O Savior, and gave them peace, graciously come also and be with us, and grant us your peace and save us and deliver our souls. Whenever we stand in your holy sanctuary, we are who serve standing in heaven. O Theotokos, you are the gate of heaven. Open for us the gate of your mercy.
joy buds and we have one of smaller man. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on the mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him. He opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is in the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is in the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you and Arrow Vi. Are you who persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake? Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for there is your reward in heaven. Blessed are they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in your house. Let your light so shine that they may see the glory and glorify your Father in heaven. And the Holy Spirit, for you are risen and saved us. O you in the same moment, just hours and the cross for the sin, which our Father Adam dared to commit in paradise, that our rest is the Christ of God. And same as I cry to you, the Lord, and he bring God hear my prayer. And you are given every day to make them to see me, and even in the evening, in the morning, at midday. I sing my words, and he hears my voice, and delivers my soul in me. And by the hand which you were nailed, rescue our lives and all the broken chains of work with us to the remembrance of your heavenly commandments according to your compassion.
the Son of the Father, who takes away the sin of the whole world, hear us, have mercy upon us, and forgive us our many sins. Amen. of your people. is worthy to pray thankfully our Father.
To provide for us, for it is you who has given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy.
began thinking of apostolic orthodox church from the mouths of the twelve apostles, from the mouth of the beholder of God, Mark the apostle, of Anderson, Martyr, the patriarch, Saint Severe, our teacher, Dioscoro, Saint Athanasius, the apostolic, Saint Peter, the seal of the martyrs and archpriest, Saint John Chrysostomo, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory, then from the mouths of the 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus. From the mouth of our blessed and honored Father, the Archpriest, our Patriarch, Pope Albert to others, the second. From the mouth of his morning basalic ministry, your honored Father, Metropolitan of Serapion, and our honored Father, the Bishop of Akirillus, and from the mouth of my abject self, who is the least. For blessed and full of glory is your holy name, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and at all times and unto the age of all ages. Amen.
the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. A chapter from the epistle of our teacher Paul to the to the Philippians, his blessings be upon us, amen. Only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or I or am absent, I may hear of your affairs. That you stand fast in one spirit with one mind, serving ser serving together for the faith of the gospel, and not in any not in not in any way terrified by your adversaries, which is to them the proof of pedigration, but to you of salvation, and that from God, from to you, in has been granted on behalf of Christ, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for his sake, having the same conflict which you saw in me, and how and now here in, is in me. Therefore, if there is any consol consolation in Christ, if any comfort in of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy fulfill, fulfill my joy and by being like-minded, having the same love, being, being of one accord of one mind, let nothing be done through selfish ambition or contact, but in, in, but in lowness of mind, let each esteem other, others be better him, than himself. Let each of you, let each of you look out not only of, not only for his own in, interest, in, interests, but also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of a God did not con did, did not condescend God condescender in robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the serv taking the form of a servant and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God also has highly, has all has highly exalted him, and given him the name which is above every name, that that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and those on earth, and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The grace of God the Father be with you all, Amen. The Catholic epistle from the first epistle of our teacher, St. Peter, may his holy blessings be with us, amen. But the word of the Lord endures forever. Now this is the word which by which by the gospel was preached to, to you. Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocr hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn, as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. If indeed you have tasted... If indeed you have tasted the Lord, <clears throat> is gracious coming to him as to a living stone rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. You also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Therefore it is also contained in the scripture, behold, I lay, I lay in Zion, a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on, on him will by no means be put to shame. Therefore, to you who believe, he is precious. But to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders reject, rejected has become the chief cornerstone, and a stone of the stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble, being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. But you are a chosen ge generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim, that you may, um, that you may pro <clears throat> that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out 
the darkness into his marvelous light, who once were not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. In all of the world or the things in the world, the world is passing away and its lust, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Amen.
the Acts of our Fathers, the Apostles, their holy blessing be the all, Amen. Now God worked unusual miracles by the hands of Paul, so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick, and the diseases left them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Then some of the itinerant Jewish ex exorcists took it upon themselves to call the name of the Lord Jesus over those who had evil spirits, saying, We adjure you by the Jesus whom Paul preaches. Also there were seven sons of Sceva, a Jewish chief priest who did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? Then the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them, overpowered them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. This became known both to all Jews and Greeks dwelling in Ephesus, and fear fell on them all. And the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified, and many who had believed came confessing and telling their deeds. Also many of those who had practiced magic brought their books together and burned them in the sight of all. And they counted up the value of them, and it totaled 50,000 pieces of silver. So the word of the Lord grew mighty and prevailed. When these things were accomplished, Paul purposed uh, in the spirit when he had passed through Macedonia and Achaia to, to go to Jerusalem, saying, After I have been there, I must also see Rome. So he sent into Macedonia two of those who ministered to him, Timothy and Erastus. But he himself stayed in Asia for a time. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today is the 28th day of the blessed contact month of Abim. May the Lord God end it for us in peace and tranquility while our sins being forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, my Father, and my brethren. Amen. On this day, St. Mary Magdalene departed. The Lord Christ cast seven demons out of her. She followed him, and she served him during his passion, crucifixion, death, and burial. She came early with the other Mary to the sepulcher and saw the stone had been rolled back and the angel was sitting on it. When they became frightened, the angel told them, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. The Savior appeared to her and told her, Go to my brethren and say to them, I ascend to my Father and your Father and to my God and your God. She came and told the disciples about the resurrection of the Lord, and after the ascension of the Lord, she remained ministering to the disciples. She received the gifts of the Spirit of comfort, fulfilling the prophecy of Joel the prophet, which said, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour my Spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. The same preached with the disciples and brought back many women to the faith in Christ. The apostles ordained her a deaconess to teach the women and to assist in their baptism. She received many insults and humiliation from the Jews, and she departed in peace while she was still ministering unto the disciples. May her prayers be with us, and glory be to God forever. Amen. seen them and to hear the things 
when you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, must turn your eyes, for they see in your ears, for they hear. May we be made worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. which we offer up unto you, O Lord, our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose in them. Those who are sick, heal them, for you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. The Son of the living God, unto whom all glory is due forever. Amen. Now a certain man was seeing Lazarus in Bethany, the town of Mary, and her sister Martha. And was that Mary who anointed the Lord with fragrant oil and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was saying, Therefore the sister sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is saying. When Jesus heard that, he said, the sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. Then after this he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, lately the Jews sought to stone you. And are you going there again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. But if one walks in the night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. These things he said, and after that he said to them, Our friend Lazarus sleeps, but I go that I may wake him up. Then his disciples said, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get well. However, Jesus spoke of his death, but they thought that he was speaking about taking rest and sleep. Then Jesus said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, that you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go to him. Then Thomas, who is called Didymus, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go that we may die with him. So when Jesus came, he found 
found that he had already been in the tomb four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles away, and many of the Jews had joined the women around Mary and Martha to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went out and met him. But Mary was sitting in the house. Then Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection and the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God who has come into the world. And when she had said these things, she went her way and secretly called Mary, her sister saying, The teacher has come and is calling for you. As soon as she heard that, she rose quickly and came to him. Now Jesus had not yet come into the town, but was in the place where Martha met him. Then the Jews who were with her in the house and comforting her, when they saw that Mary rose up quickly and went out, followed her, saying, she is going to the tomb to weep there. Then when Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her weeping, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. And he said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, See how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man who opened the eyes of the blind also have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again groaning in himself, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you should believe, you would see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me, and I know that you always hear me. But because of the people who are standing by, I send this, that they may believe that you sent me. Now when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he who had died came out bound hand and foot with green clothing, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. Then many of the Jews who had come to Mary and had seen these things, Jesus did believe in him.
and Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever. Who dwells in the Lord? Oh, yes, and Lord, upon the Lord, who has created the heavens, the earth, the sea, and everything that is there in the Father of our Lord, our God, and our Savior, Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. You are here around to outside the Seraphim with six wings, praising continuously without ceasing, saying. Oh, and 
listen to his holy body. Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. And the spiritual brethren, the old Solomon, Minshir, honored father, mooring nations of Prem, the second carrying patriarch of Adjunk, and our honored father, Abud Antonio's patriarch of Eritrea, and their partner in the old Solomon ministry, our honored father, Metropolitan of the Serapion, and our honored father, our bishop, Baba Kiri, and on. Pray for our high priest, Pope of Autodros, the second Pope and patriarch of. Uh, uh, and Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria, and his spiritual brother, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mark, Nicholas, the Prime, the Second Kareem, and the Patriarch of Eritrea, Abun Antonis, and his partner in the liturgy, our Father, Metropolitan of Serapion, and our Father, the Bishop of Akirillos, and for our Orthodox Bishops. And our brethren, the deacons. Pray for the arguments, priests, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven orders of the church of God. And all the servants and all those who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people, remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon our song. Have mercy upon Rising of the waters on the river. 
for the rising of the waters of the rivers this year, that Christ our God may bless them and raise them according to their measure, that, they, that he may give joy to the face of the earth, sustain us, the, the sons of man, give, give, save the cattle and forgive us our sins. And its fruits be plentiful, prepared for sowing and harvesting. Manage our lives as dear. Infant, bless thy crown of the year with your goodness. For the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger. And for the sake of all of us who entreat you and sing your holy name for the eyes of everyone. Wait upon you, for you are he who gives them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness. O you who gives food to all flesh, fill our hearts with joy and gladness that we to having sufficiency in everything always may have found in every good. O dear. And those by whom they have been brought, give them all my heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them. command of your only begotten Son, that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning, our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous, Perfected in the faith, most of all the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy, they all to go sing me. Who in truth gave birth to God, the Lord, O God, and Saint John the Forerunner, Baptist and Martyr, Saint Stephen the Protodeacon and Protomartyr, the Beholder of God, Mark the Apostle, Evangelist and Martyr, the Patriarch, Saint Severus, our Teacher, Dioscorus, Saint Athanasius, the Apostolic, Saint Peter, the Seal of the Martyrs, and Archpriest, Saint John Chrysostomos, Saint Theodosius, Saint Theophilos, Saint Demetrius, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory, the Theologian, Saint Gregory the Wonder Worker, and Saint Gregory the Armenian, and the 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous Father, the great Abba Antony, the righteous Abba Paul, the three saints Abba Makari, and all their children, the cross bearers, our Father Abba John the Ecumen, our righteous Father Abba Pishoi, the perfect man, who washed the feet of our good Savior. Amen. Our Father of Paul, Amtem, who and Ezekiel, his disciple, my Lord's lowly Roman fathers, Saints Maximus and Domitius, the forty-nine martyrs, the elders of Shea, the strong Saint of Moses, John Cammy, the priest, 
our Father, of Daniel, the Hangiman, our Father, of Isidore, the priest, our Father, of Abachom, of the Kinonia, and Theodorus, the disciple, our Father, of Ashenut, in the Ark of Mandarin, and our Father, of the Wisa, is this all, and all the choir of your saints, whose prayers and supplications have mercy upon us all and save us for the sake of your holy name which is called Old the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. Fantastic, and that's also in all things your great and holy name. 
may be glorified, blessed, and exalted, and everything honored and blessed, together with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit, the blessing and the peace be with all. stand up in this holy place to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mystery. Find these gifts 
which are sent forth through the coming down upon them of your Holy Spirit, you have purified them. Purify us also, our Master, from our sins, the hidden and manifest, and every thought not pleasing to your goodness. O God, the good one and lover of mankind, may it be far from us. spirits, our hearts, our eyes, our understanding, our thoughts, and our consciences, so that with a pure heart and enlightened soul and unashamed face, a faith and faint, a perfect love and a firm hope, we may dare with boldness without fear to pray to you, O God, the Holy Father who are in the heavens, and say, our Father. The Son of God, the sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Is the life 
life-giving flesh. I'm your only begotten Son, our Lord, our God, and our Savior, Jesus Christ, took from our Lady, the Lady of our soul, the whole, oh, 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 With this divinity, without mingling, without confusion, and without alteration, he confessed the good confession. Before Pontius Pilate, he gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will. For us all truly, I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment, nor a twinkling of a nine given for us for salvation, remission of sins, and eternal life to to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. I mean, pray for us and for all Christian, Christians who said to us concerning them, remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace with love of Jesus Christ be with us be with you sing alleluia pray with, pray pray for worthy partaking of the holy of the immaculate heavenly and holy mysteries lord have mercy